morning, good morning. Hi guys. First off, I want to say thank you so much to everybody who was concerned about um, Olivia and who asked how she's doing. Um, she still get that anti anti allergicum, um, but she way better. Say I'm better. Better. We don't play with knives. Say I'm better. Better. Yeah. Um, we are having breakfast right now. Look at these people. They don't even wait on me. It was on this mountain. And then, um, people who subscribed or watch us since a while okay. know that um, a tradition in this house is that every beginning of the year we clean out something. Um, last year we got a new kitchen. Um, at the 2nd of February, this year I decided we go for the basement. Um, I don't know if we're the only people doing this, but Whenever we have something that breaks or that's garbage or whatever that don't fit in our garbage can, we stuff it in the basement. So the basement is full of um, old broke furniture and whatever paper garbage that didn't fit in the cans and stuff like that. So this is what we are going to clean out today. Um, but first let me give this dragon's breakfast. Milk? Yeah. it cover? Yeah. By the way, this is a children knife, plastic mm. knife. It don't hurt her. Mama. So I'm not child abusing. So guys. Alright, let me show you the basement of shame. So all this is still from renovating. We had light here. Huh. This is from renovating. Um here's the old couch. Old stuff. And now the main problem. So yeah, let's um, get started. Yeah. So yeah, I removed a lot of bags with, I don't know, glass garbage and paper garbage and I start getting angry because this is not like old furniture, this is the kids being too lazy to bring the garbage outside. So they think they stay smart by throwing it in the gar um, basement, which is the same kind of distance. But look at what I found, it's kind of dangerous down here. So yeah, this is not what um, I expected and what I think will happen. I know we have like old bed pieces and old couch pieces here, but that the kids stuff this room with garbage annoys me so much right now. Okay, this is a bag and in this bag are bags with stuff in it. A thousand different bags with so much different stuff. The same here. Like it's all these different bags I have to go through now and separate that stuff which they could have simply thrown it in the garbage. This makes me angry. This is, was not the plan today at all. Meanwhile. So hey guys, what's up? Um, I'm sure Andrea just told you guys that she's doing her annual yearly clean where she's doing the basement and I refuse to be a part of that because I have cleaned up the basement in 2017 at least four times and these kids just keep stuffing stuff down there. So I refuse to be a part of that. If she wanted it to be clean, then they can do that. I'm not doing it no more. But I am going to go to my, so I am going to go to my favorite thing to clean up, which I have cleaned up more than the basement, which is the garage. So I'm cleaning out the garage, which is not that bad. And I, and I am stormproof. And I am stormproofing the backyard because it's supposed to be a really bad storm tomorrow. So that's what I'm doing. And also, I'm so nice as I'm 
What, what am I doing? Bruh. I'm so nice that I'm making Andrea's car van, car van, Andrea's van ready so that she can put all the stuff in there. So I'm doing that too. So let's get to doing that. What you just seen in my backyard is me after cleaning it up an hour and yesterday an hour because I didn't want to show you guys how embarrassing it was. It was it looked like a junkyard. And that is, I think, one of the main bad problems about having such a big family that you can't watch all these little kids. Like, they do shit just to do shit. I know you guys know what I mean by kids just do things that make no sense. Like, they just take the garbage, which the garbage is usually right there. That's what the garbage usually is, but I had to move it. But they come from here, they walk around, then they put the garbage here see the garbage they put it there and so they're going two more feet and putting it there and this is what they do and after days and days of them doing this it just builds up to where it looks like a fucking junkyard but yeah like i said that's one of the bad problems about having such a big family that you can't watch everybody every minute of the day doing everything and kids are stupid and they do dumb things or lazy things and they don't think about how it affects because here is our neighbors and as you can see the bushes is only this high so when they're up there in their room they can look here See all this crackhead shit and think that we just some a bunch of bums. Like this is what I mean. Pizza boxes up under the tire of a bike. Who does this? Can you stop that like who does this? Pizza boxes up under the bike. Instead of just going rup, 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 to here to throw it away. It's literally five feet away. It takes more work to put it up under the bike thing than to put it in the garbage. Like this is all garbage. And it really bothers me because I do this at least six times a year. I just told y'all how I am not doing anything to help with this basement, but my pet peeve is unorganization. Being unorganized is my pet peeve, and Andrea is so unorganized. We have so much to do today, and she just want to keep stuffing and stuffing stuff in this car and worrying about the basement, which, in my opinion, is not the most important thing today. But since she's going to do that, and I can't change my wife and who she is, I decided to be a team member and take all this crap to the recycling hall so we can recycle off. That's German. To the recycling place so that we can empty it out and then pack some more stuff. And hopefully, Andrea will be done so we can finish. What the fuck is wrong with your hair? And hopefully, we can be done and get to what we're doing, which is packing for our vacation tomorrow. And you're going, so you better fix your hair now. All right, guys, so round one is done. About to head back to the house and get to round two, which I'm not being a part of, I swear. I promise I said I was not being a part of it before, but now I'm done. I did my part. I don't feel like a shitty husband. I'm good. I got other stuff to do. I will help. <laughs> so is this how you planned your New Year's cleaning to go? No, I thought I'd take the old furniture stuff out. Drive it away and be done. But you know what the worst part about it is? This is only three months worth of stuff because we just did a big cleanup four months ago where I cleaned up everything. We need the key and I locked down here. It's enough. 
No more locked doors. Said who? Changed my mind. You still need this? Yes. For what? It's a storage case. You want to throw my twenty dollars storage case around? Storage case you never use. Yeah, cause I don't know what I'm gonna use it for you. Hey, don't get angry at me. I'm here holding the camera, helping. tomorrow and I have stuff to do. Yeah, me too. Yeah, but you told me yesterday, I don't need you to okay, do anything. Okay, I grew up, I am not you, and I grew up, and you should always leave your house in a nice way for in case you won't come back. Who gives a fuck if you're dead? I care. I don't want to hear when I'm dead and my spirit is running around this house and I see all the people I like and they talk about how disgusting I am. I'm not doing that. The house is clean when we leave. And what about everything else that, need, that needs to be done? We about to be done. Thank yeah, God. you about to be done. I gotta drive yourself away. All right, definitely now. What face did you just make? <laughs> now it's the last time I'm going because I really do have stuff to do now. So this is the last time, and I'm hungry. I haven't eaten anything all day, and it's already one, two, two p.m. Finally, we are done until they decide to mess it up in the next four months. But I'm gonna put a lock on that shit, just lock it. So guys, we finally done. Mm -hmm. It's clean. You please get out of my way. I'm so angry at you guys. Like, I'm very angry. Very. Very. Yeah, um, if you think now, oh my god. Well, I think the same, oh my god. Um, as you all know from the first video already we ever made till now, we always kept it real. This is reality. Um, life is not always pink. Right now it's dark, dark, the blackest black you can, midnight shadow black, I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm hoping the shower now to calm myself down and then we get ready to travel. Like this video even if, oh, just give me a like, please. Um, subscribe if you haven't done we bring a lot of videos um, and drop me one of your nice comments love you guys peace out